So More Trees was actually established 25 years ago. So the past quarter of a century, we've been on a mission to really help to restore and revive very precious habitats that are the temperate rainforests and the fragments that we have here on Dartmoor, but also just to increase the area of native broadleaf woodland. So we do that by working with a diverse range of landowners, um, helping to restore, expand existing woodland, connect up habitats and create entirely new ones, all with the aim of obviously responding to the climate emergency, but also boosting nature and the, the biodiversity of the local area. We've got a couple of community tree nurseries, which we're exploring today. And um, that's where we grow our Dartmoor provenance trees from seed gathered right across the national park, which every winter we go out and about planting into new woodlands right across the local area. Today we're lifting some trees out of the, the troughs. Um, we use these troughs for seedlings that have been stratified in the, in the fridge over the winter. Um, so they'll be sown in the, in the early spring and then they, they grow in the troughs um, throughout the season. So we use the troughs um, to germinate seeds. Um, this can sometimes take between two and three years. Um, so the troughs are really useful because the trees can just be left there to do their own thing and the seeds will come up maybe in the second or the third year. Today we're just lifting some of those trees out um, so we can, we can sort them, we can pot them up and then we can re-sow the seeds um, in the coming, coming months. So after we've collected the seed in the, in the woods, we, we bring them back to our nursery here and we put them in these special seed storage cupboards. Um, they've got ventilation on the front for, for allowing airflow to the seeds. Um, everything everything is, is put in um, and is given, given a certain batch depending on where it's collected. Um, each collection is weighed um, so we know how much the, the fresh weight is of, of the seeds that we've collected. Um, and then those, these will be stored ready for processing. Um, processing the seeds just means sort of taking, taking the seed away from any fruit that's there, um, and that's all done, done by hand by our volunteers here at the nursery. So we've got um, spindle seeds here. Um, so these are, these have got the, the sort of pink outside case and the orange, orange skin on the seed. Um, and to process these, we'd have to take them out of the, the pink cases and then we'd have to remove this this sort of orange skin. Um, so yeah, this is all all done by hand with our our team of volunteers who um, yeah sit sit down and uh, process many seeds, many thousands of seeds for us um, each year. So once the the seeds are back, uh, we've got some spindle seeds here. Um, which has um, got the pink outside cases, and then it's got this this orange orange skin around the seed here um, and to process these we've got to take them out of the, the outside cases and then remove this this orange skin uh, just like this and then this is that's the seed there um, this is all done by hand by our volunteers um, who process yeah, thousands of seeds for us every year so once the seeds are processed we put them into coconut fiber which is a sort of moist medium um, just to keep them damp um, and they go into into plastic bags which are sealed at the top and with a with a small air gap open so they don't go mouldy. Um, we we label each one of the bags and we store them in the fridge over the winter. Um, what this does is it it promotes the um, the natural process of breaking dormancy in the seed. So each each different species has a different amount of time that it needs in the fridge. And what will happen is the once the seeds have been exposed to a certain amount of cold, um, they'll change from sort of being dormant to to um, to growth. Um, and yeah, what what will happen is the seeds will start to send out their first first roots. Um, this is some wild cherry seed, which is just the the outer sort of shell is um, of the seed is, is just cracked open because the the inner inner part is swelling up and the roots forming there. Um, so these should be ready to sow in a couple of weeks, um, but we'll expect to see sort of roots growing first before we before we sow anything outside. So once the seeds are ready from the fridge, um, we'll either sow them in the troughs if there's a big batch of seeds, or in individual seed trays like this one if it's smaller batches. And we'll bring them into our polytunnel, and we'll we'll sow them in along the benches here. Um, we've got these cages 
um, to stop animals, birds, um, kind of getting to the seeds because they're still viable food sources at that stage. Um, and we, we do it in here because it gives us a bit more protection. We've got a bit more control over the, the watering, um, things like that. With, with springs being sort of a bit unpredictable in the last few years, we can't rely on having the right sort of amount of rain at the right amount of time. So we bring them in here, we, we water by hand um, and take control of that kind of that process as well. Um, when the trees are, are ready, uh, we'll prick them out from either the troughs or the, the seed trays. Um, some will be ready quite quickly, um, some will take a lot longer. So these holly are kind of two years old um, and have been in there for a little while. Um, and we'll pop them up to these individual sort of cells and we call it physical root trainers. Um, so that just gives them a bit more space, a bit more room for their roots, um, but it also makes a nice sort of controlled uh, shape for the, for the roots and it makes them a bit easier to plant and a bit easier to look after. We wouldn't have got where we have today without all of the wonderful commitment, the time and the support of our volunteers. They're absolutely the foundations and the rock for where More Trees has grown. With 200, 250 volunteers on our books, it's a real team effort and a real community getting behind what we're trying to do.